special meeting, uh, and all items that will be discussed have been duly posted. While this is a meeting in the public, it is not a meeting of the public. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budgets, make policy, and provide oversight. We are not here to manage or solve individual problems. Management is responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, we believe that we must educate every child, provide every child the greatest opportunity to learn, maintain a safe and secure environment, mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. And these are our core values. We appreciate your interest in the students of CISD. All right. Meryl, is there an audience for guests? All right, so. We are going to action item, staffing update. Um, so I'm going to ask Mr. Bulware to come forward and talk about staffing. And as he's coming forward, I would like to especially thank our principals as well as our human resources department, um, Ms. Cotter, Mr. Nielsen, Ms. Howell, everyone has been pitching in and helping us find great staff members. So I am very pleased of the progress that the district has made and I am very, very appreciative of the hard work of our staff in finding these employees for us to hire. Absolutely. Uh, just to go along with that, it's not easy right now finding people in education. Uh, it's not a course can thing, it's a state thing, it's a, a, na a national thing. Uh, and Dr. Frost couldn't be more right. And I appreciate her saying that. Uh, I I'll be brief. Just to give you an update of where we're at, the last time that I presented to you, we needed uh, 18 teachers, and that was that's uh, district wide, and uh, we've trimmed that number down to nine this week. Uh, just to give you a, a, a small breakdown of where those nine are at, um, the high school has got to have one, could use two. Uh, the middle school needs one. Collins needs two. Uh, Navarro needs four. Uh, Fannin is hired up. Uh, Carol is hired up. Sam Houston needs one, and Bowie needs one. Uh, and that has not been that has not been easy. It just hasn't uh, for those for those principals to to do. Um, I talked to you last time that I spoke about about using the new waiver system through TEA, uh, but that's not that's not with us bringing a bunch of people in that we're going to have to hire, uh, use waivers for. The only people that we're going to use waivers for on that list uh, are people that taught for us last year that have had certification issues, whether it be through testing or whatever the case may be with their program, but that are proven teachers in, in the district. So we're not we're not filing waivers for any unknowns at this point. So that's 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 a good thing. I feel like we're still in a good place on the quality that we're bringing in as well. Any questions? How many have, are we going to be able to retain that? Maybe um, we're not able to get their certification. We're gonna we're gonna get four back for sure. Four back. Yes, ma'am. And uh, po possibly two more, but four for sure. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm. A, yes, sir. Uh, um. Sorry. Uh, was that included in your nine? Like the the. The four. The four. Yes. No, and the nine remaining to yes. hire? No, no, those are open spots. Like the it's the, the ones that we, the ones that we got okay. back are, are included in the. New she hire. she answered my question. Basically, it's it's nine, not five. It's a true yes, yes, it's sir. a true nine. Okay. Yes, I love to take five. But yeah. All right. Does anyone have any questions? All right. This is something we asked for, and I do appreciate Mr. Bullware for giving this to us. Well, that is the only thing that we have for this meeting, and we're going to go into closed session um, that is permitted by Texas Government Code Section 551.01.